shelves on the wine rack with the right spacing in between each one factoring in the um the thickness the thickness of, the of each shelf and then why are you doing all the markings on the back so that we can pre-drill the holes from the back uh, which will give a cleaner i guess look for the front for the front okay also if we mess up it's on the back it's on the back <laughs> shelves in so each one of those boxes represent the thickness of the shelf yes okay that will also give us the uh, area for putting in the screws where we need to put them okay so i can make sure that i'm not drilling a pilot hole outside the thickness of the shelf okay so that that's your boundary yes okay because while the two outer lines tell you where the shelf is going to be this is telling me where the screw needs to be. So now that you have all the markings on the back, what are you doing now? Now we're transferring the bottom line to the front so that we can use it as an alignment marking for when we're putting in the shelf from the front. Yeah, the first shelf is long this is and a then short. short. Yeah. Short. And then the pattern repeats. Long. Short. Short. Long. Short. Oh, well, at least we know that works. <laughs> I am marking where the screws will be for each shelf. about to use some three quarter inch birch for the shelves and right now we're just going to sand it down a little just to take off the uh little, little manufacturer defects okay. so here we go it's a very pretty 
pretty color. I know I, I like the, uh, the marks like the, on it. Yeah, I mean, I usually gray. like the pine, but I think this one has like a little bit more warmth. Yes. And so when I put either the poly or like a light stain, I think the color is going to come out real well. Yeah, look at that piece. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. So from this piece of birch, we're going to cut seven of the shorter shells. Yes. And then that leaves me with four inches that I can use to figure out stain color. That is correct. All right. So what exactly is your method for ensuring that the wine, um, when they're on the shelf, they're not going to fall and they're going to be pretty secure on there? I'm using this uh, inch and a half round nose bit, this guy right here, to create grooves in the wood, as you can see from right here, that will keep the bottle in and prevent it from sliding out. This area right here also has to be uh, routed off, so it's a nice uh, curve in there to hold the bottle in and keep it secure. shelves the grooves in all of them were left with this little ridge right here so in order to get rid of that i'm thinking of using this uh 7 16 inch straight bit to just router off the center piece and then from there we can uh, sand the difference We have routed all that we can route with the different bits. Uh, now I'm just going to take some 220 grit sandpaper to just create a nice finish for staining. So 
after sanding the groove for the bottle, it's time to sand the rest of the shelf. 220 grit sandpaper, which we're gonna put on now. the shells have all been sanded the last thing that we need to do before we can install everything is to apply some poly now you want to do about two to three coats of poly I'm gonna do two on the top and just one on the bottom and that's gonna protect the wood from scratches and seal it so it's just gonna make it scratch resistant and water resistant I am gonna be using a water-based poly just because that is my preference and this one is in a matte finish. And just make sure you mix it real well before you start. Don't be alarmed by the color. It is gonna dry in clear, so you just have to trust the process. Screwing this into a wall, into the wall, to use it as a level base. Um, also, this is the distance from the ground where we want to start um, the wine rack. So we have to put holes roughly an inch from the edge. So then those are those holes you'll fill after yes on the wine rack so the ones on the left hand side will be okay. covered over by the pole wrap okay and the ones on the right hand side we're you'll going have to, to have to fill them afterwards okay i'll try to insert those holes right below the long shelf do we want them below or do we want them to be above the shelf so that they're then behind it so the wine kind of covers them so we can do the high, the one at the top uh -huh. above, and okay. we can do the one at the bottom below. 
And then what about the ones that are right in your level? The ones, well, I'm hoping to not put more than three. Three on each side? Well, three on this side. And then three on the other side? The other side, yeah, we can do three or four. And then that's getting on the top, completely. you do like, like one in the middle? or In the middle, there's nothing because we oh, only right, have a no stud. On so they're all just two. going on the sides? Yes. Okay. This is a surefire way to find your studs. That's not going in any further. So, so there's a, there's you a definitely right there. hit a stud there. Okay. For education purposes, ain't no stud there. We're going to lift this on top of the support. You're going to hold it up. Okay. And I'm going to drill the bottom. So we're starting uh, from the bottom and working our way to the top. To the top? Okay. Yeah. So just focus on keeping it up. Okay. So in order to keep the alignment of the shelves consistent, uh, we build a jig to keep things aligned. This will allow us to position each shelf exactly where it needs to go. Just like this, which we will then clamp here so we need to make sure we are aligning this line with the bottom line here which is the placement of each shelf